Roughly three years ago, the Frontier Pig Channel was created. It was at the time solely for Fantastic Frontier content. Fantastic Frontier being my favorite game of all time. I've always had a bit of a knack for men bringing very specific stats and information, and I planned on using that skill in the creation of the content on my channel. Unfortunately, that didn't really pan out for Fantastic Frontier, but that's not to say I didn't find success anyway. The very first video I uploaded was titled, No Fog Glitch Tutorial for Roblox Fantastic Frontier. I made this specific video because there was, in my opinion, a dire need for a voiced over tutorial for this incredibly important glitch. You see, there was already a YouTube video that explained how to do it relatively well, but you were forced to watch the gameplay and read the text on the screen at the same time. This makes it difficult to properly take in all information, which is very important for a tutorial. I was personally pretty familiar with how the glitch worked, so it just made sense to be my first video. It took me only a few minutes to make and was almost immediately my big break. I remember being so excited about it reaching 300 views. I knew I had to do more now that I had proven it was possible to succeed, and so the Frontier Pig channel's first golden age took place. At the time, Fantastic Frontier was still relatively popular, so there was a demand for content. However, it had been long enough since the game got an update that effectively all of its big creators burnt out and left their channels behind. As sad as this is, it was an opportunity nevertheless. In the months after, I posted a total of 8 Fantastic Frontier videos, all of which received a good amount of traction. I did try to do other things, but if Fantastic Frontier wasn't in the name, it tended to be dead on arrival. However, my Fantastic Frontier related success did not last forever. That specific content faced two major problems that would inevitably leave me with less and less views. The first was that the game itself wasn't really growing anymore. The promise of an upcoming update was losing most of its power, so less and less people played the game. With less people playing the game, less people wanted to watch content about it. The second and arguably more devastating problem was one of my own creation. At the time, I only uploaded videos when I felt like it, which meant I enjoyed my channel but unfortunately caused me to go months without releasing anything. Every time I waited, there were less and less people still here. Eventually, I came to terms with the fact that this channel really mattered to me, so I forced myself to be consistent. However, I knew even that that wouldn't be enough. As much as I did and still do love Fantastic Frontier, there just wasn't the audience I needed there. Throughout a particularly stale summer, I posted video after video, all about random but usually somewhat gaming related topics. Needless to say, the only ones that got even a little traction were the couple Fantastic Frontier videos I posted, but even these just weren't enough. Eventually, I decided something needed to change again, but this time I would focus on making one thing work rather than ten or so small things. It would be another chance, another big break. I would create an incredibly long and highly edited video designed to give my channel the boost it so desperately needed. I took a course of Adobe's Premiere Pro so I could edit at a new level and I wrote what was by far my longest script to date. Once I was ready, I recorded that monster and spent a week editing it. I worked 4-5 to five hours a day to make sure it was ready before school started again. Finally, my creation was complete. It was by no means perfect, but I would loved it nevertheless. I got my sister to make some art with the thumbnail and uploaded it to Frontier Pig. Though it was not immediately, my channel would soon enter its second golden age. The age of... Noobs in Combat is easily my second favorite game on Roblox. It's a fun little military strategy game that I have been playing almost since it started. While it was by no means a big game, it would hit around 10 times as many concurrent players as Fantastic Frontier on average, which made it a great place to grow. The particular video I posted was called a somewhat informative explanation of Noobs in Combat Roblox. It wasn't even the first time Noobs in Combat had appeared on my channel, however, it's what I consider the beginning of my glory days with the game. The other videos were pretty low quality, and I only keep them up today for history's sake. Anyway, in this new video, the main focus was all the different units in Noobs in Combat. 
Technically, I left out a few that I didn't use at the time, but I eventually grew to see the value in every unit. Point is, I would explain the good and the bad need to the selected units along with what I considered at the time to be a ton of editing. In between the different unit categories, I created a montage of all the units to come in the next category. Though I'm not a big fan of watching montages, I quickly discovered that they are extremely fun to make. Clocking in at just above 18 minutes, this video was in my mind the only chance at reviving Frontier Pig. For the first few days, it did little better than any other mediocre video on my channel. But as I started posting even more news and combat content, it eventually found its audience and promptly exploded. I went on to post three more Nick videos that also did quite well, except for this one. I have literally no idea why this one flopped so hard. After, I felt bad about not posting for my Fantastic Frontier audience, so I made something for them. This, however, barely pulled in any numbers compared to the Nick content. Next, I made a tier list where I ranked all the units and noobs in combat based on how cool I thought they were. The main reason I mention this video is because I distinctly remember a couple people thinking it was a practical tier list and getting mad about it. I don't know, I just thought it was funny since it was on the thumbnail and stated multiple times during the video. However, I wasn't quite locked into noobs in combat just yet. Now that I was pulling in so many views, I decided to test my luck with something very different. This is my favorite video I have ever made. Unfortunately, you guys didn't seem to agree. Honestly, I can't blame you since it was so out of left field. Anyway, I talked about my experience with the game Mr. Mine and did a lot of cool audio and music stuff in Premiere Pro. Either way, in hindsight, it wouldn't have really mattered if it had pulled in big numbers. I'm just glad some of you watched it. From then to the end of my Noobs in Combat Golden Age, I would only post one unrelated video, one which surprisingly gained most of its success long after my channel semi died. Anyways, back to Nick. I decided to start posting two videos every week, which did incredible numbers for Frontier Pig. For a while, I focused on going much more in depth into Noobs in Combat mechanics and stats. I explained the uses and weaknesses of every single unit, even if I didn't particularly like them. My two most successful videos to date came from this period, both of which explained vehicle units, which admittedly are pretty interesting. Today, they both sit at around 40,000 views, which is absolutely insane to me. Unfortunately, the golden age is called an age for a reason. I was running out of things to do with noobs in combat, so I decided to dip my toes in gameplay. I played the entire Operation Antarctic campaign as a sort of series, and that gave me a lot of content, but it still took a ton of effort to make, and just couldn't pull in the same numbers I had grown used to. Even when I managed to make some more informative videos, they sort of fell flat. This was worsened by me uploading the wrong file to the IFV guide, causing it to just be a copy of the Light Gunner guide. Even when this was fixed, the damage was done, and the algorithm couldn't have been happy with the awful numbers the copy video that was eventually deleted produced. After that, I finished the Operation Antarctic campaign, but clearly Frontier Pig's time had passed. I got paid by AdSense one time, before the low views just didn't pull in enough for me to hit minimum requirements anymore. This is when I lost motivation to work on Frontier Pig. There was other content I wanted to make, but I knew it would be incredibly difficult to shift Frontier Pig due to the algorithm automatically suggesting videos to people who only watch for Nick. This of course is not any of your fault, it's just a flaw in the system. I decided it was time to move on, so as an unofficial goodbye to the channel, I posted the Nick slash Frontier Pig slander video. Though I completely messed up the quality by importing something wrong, I still do look back on this particular video quite fondly. I'm glad I was able to help some of you. I'm glad I was able to entertain some of you. And most of all, I'm glad I was able to bring together so many of you to absolutely dunk on me saying tanks shoot missiles or rockets. Well, that pretty much sums up the history. So now that you know how we got here, where do we go now? Well, I plan on doing two things on YouTube in my future. First, I want to continue Frontier Pig. It, of course, will likely never be as consistent as I used to be, but it would be for you guys and for me, rather than the algorithm this time around. I can't say I have a lot of specific plans for what I'd post, but I do want to get around to it eventually. However, I can say it'll more than likely be Nick-related. Now, there's the other thing. 
Something you likely don't know about me is that my real ultimate passion is writing, specifically fiction. I've discovered this over the past year and have created a number of short stories I'm rather proud of. Since I happen to have editing, voicing, and just general video production skills, I decided to make another channel just for my writing. There, I will narrate my stories like an audiobook and post it for all to hear. Admittedly, this also likely won't be terribly consistent due to it being from myself as well. I'd love for it to be wildly successful, but I would be foolish to expect it to. The channel is called Noncrastinate, and I'll be linking it in the description. It is, of course, vastly different from anything I did on Frontier Pig, but if you want to support me, I would highly appreciate it if you just checked it out. Speaking of which, it's the end of the video. I don't know how long it's going to be until I see you guys again on Frontier Pig, so I want to thank you now. Thanks for watching my silly little videos. I am incredibly grateful to everyone, from my loyalist subscribers to even the guys I argued with about what a tank shoots. So, I'll say it again. Thank you.